Hey there, Aries, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. The main energy for your reading is the Seven of Pentacles. You're evaluating something, possibly a decision that you made, or evaluating whether you want to invest in something. We'll see what this is about when we clarify. In your recent past, you get the Judgment, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords. You're going through a very transformative energy starting off your recent past. There's a lot of la like mistrust here. Um, it could be that you don't trust yourself, right? When it comes to making a decision or when it comes to something or you don't trust somebody else there's also a lot of anxiety and fear showing up in your recent past again possibly because of this lack of trust here and this realization or transformation that you're going through we'll see when we clarify in your current situation you get the six of swords the magician the hierophant you're walking away from something you're leaving something behind and as you're doing that you're manifesting something new okay this could tie up to a connection you may be dealing with a taurus or someone that um, you may have been married to or a connection that feels like a marriage this could also be some beliefs that you have been married to or hold on for quite some time that may be outdated we'll see what this is about when we clarify i'm not entirely getting a relationship feel off of this reading quite yet in your near future, you get the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Ten, ten, completion. You're confused about something. There may be something here that has to do with your long-term stability, but it's also something that's difficult for you to carry, something that's difficult for you to deal with. Um, we'll see what this is about, but either way, you're juggling something. You're, you're having to make a decision pertaining to this completion energy, this energy that is um, of, of something that has like long-term energy to it. We'll see what this is about when we clarify. Let's start off by clarifying the judgment in your recent past. What is this judgment about? The judgment is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Death, and the Devil. Um, didn't ask the question, Spirit. Okay, you're definitely going through a lot of realizations, a lot of very um, intense energies in your recent past okay something here is coming to an end or something came to an end and it was a very slow process with the knight of pentacles here that's telling me that this was not this didn't happen like overnight this almost was like kind of like dying out right but something about this has toxic energy tied up to it it could be that there's some self-deception here or there's some deceptive energy tied up to this ending whatever this ending is i don't know if it's a relationship i don't know if it's like ending of a job ending of you know it's not showing up as the ending of a cycle but something here is ending for you in the recent past there's some toxic energy tied up to that the five of swords is also deceptive energy so let's clarify that see maybe that'll give us some clarity as to what um what ended or what this ending brought about or possibly what this deceptive energy has to do with it Five of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Moon, and the Three of Swords. Okay, there is something here that is bringing you, I can't grab the card, sorry. <laughs> There's something here that is bringing you emotional balance, okay, in the recent past, but you don't trust it. You don't trust it because whatever is bringing you this emotional balance, and again, this could be a relationship, this could be a job, this could be whatever, right? Whatever this is, you don't trust this happy emotional fulfillment energy because deep down, you're carrying some emotional pain that's tied up to this. So this could be a relationship. This could be a connection. It could be that this person, um, this is a story that I'm picking up intuitively, that the cards are not showing us, but it could be somebody came into your life and is making you very happy, making you feel, you know, very fulfilled and you don't trust it. You're like, eh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This feels too familiar to something that happened in the past. And that something that happened in the past brought me a lot of pain. Now, on a conscious level, you're not going through these thought processes. This is all happening on a subconscious level. With the moon here, that's telling me that this is happening kind of behind the scenes on a deep, deep level that you may not even be aware of it. But whatever it is, you're carrying some emotional pain. And this new thing or whatever this thing is that's bringing you emotional fulfillment in the recent past and is making you happy is also stirring up this pain from the past, possibly because... Um, another person or something that caused you pain in the past made you feel the same way um 
but this is all on a subconscious level. And so on the, on the surface, what it's showing up as is, oh, I don't trust this. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I didn't even ask the question. Five of Pentacles, the breakup card, the separation card. There was a separation that happened in the past that caused you pain. Uh, and you're now bringing that pain from the past into the pain from the current situation. And I don't necessarily know that they're tied together. I don't think this is the same person. Let's take a look at the Nine of Swords in your recent past. Nine of Swords is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Again, something here, you're feeling very anxious and very defeated in the current situation and very confused. There's a lot of anxiety because you're kind of showing up as feeling stuck and not knowing where to go with this Two of Swords. This is self-imposed, by the way. Just like this girl sitting on the bench, you could easily get up and walk. Walk left, walk right. Notice the blindfold. This mental prison, this lack of ability to decide is self-imposed. You're the one sitting yourself on this bench, not moving. You're feeling stuck, right? And this energy of feeling stuck is bringing about anxiety and fears. Now, the reason you're feeling stuck is because you're holding on to the sense of this not going to work out. Whatever this is, this feels like a new situation to me. This feels like somebody new coming into your life or something new coming into your life, which is stirring up old feelings that you felt in the past. And you're going into this with all this emotional pain and baggage that you're carrying. And you're, you're putting yourself in a position where you're stuck and you're anxious and you're fearful. And you're going into this new situation with a feeling of, but it's not going to work out. But this isn't going to work out. But it's, it's probably not going to go anywhere, right? And guess what, Aries, if you go into something with that mindset, guess what you're going to manifest? That's in your recent past. So let's take a look at the current situation, see what that's about. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords in your current situation, see where this is going. Six of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading, and the Two of Wands. Okay. It almost seems like you're leaving behind this resistance. You're kind of like, okay, I realize that I'm resistant. I'm realizing that I'm pushing whatever this thing is away. Maybe I should stop doing that. I see you walking away from this resistant energy and deciding to work on it. Deciding on, not necessarily making the decision to work on it, but being open to working on it and evaluating whether you should work on it. And while you're evaluating this, you're waiting. There's a waiting period. So as you're going through this thought process of, okay, I'm resisting this. Maybe that's not beneficial for me. Maybe I should work on this. Maybe I should put in the effort. I don't see you putting in the effort yet. I see you waiting as you're evaluating this. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the magician and the current situation. And again, all these energies could be you, could be your person. Take it as it resonates. I'm just reading the energy. I don't know who it's assigned to. If you have a strong connection with someone, their energies could be showing up in your reading. The Magician is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Eight of Cups. You're manifesting this person opening up. Someone in the recent past has emotionally detached, has walked away, um, or emotionally walked away. They may have maybe not physically walked away and been like, hey, see ya, but emotionally they disconnected. In the current situation, whoever this person is, you or them, they're manifesting. I feel like this is your person. I don't feel like this is you because you're showing up as the Queen of Wands here. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. I feel like your person is manifesting you back manifesting you, opening up to them, coming back to them after you've emotionally disconnected. So you may have walked away and been like, yo, I'm not dealing with this. This, this, this is too much for me. Um, I feel like your person is manifesting you back and they, they want communication from you. Let's take a look at this Hierophant in your current situation. The Hierophant is clarified by the world, the Six of Pentacles, the Magician, which you just got in your current situation. Okay. Something here is coming to an end. A cycle is closing out for you. I feel like this is more so a cycle of this connection, something within this connection has ended. I don't know that the connection has ended in a whole, but I feel like something within this connection has ended with the world here. That cycle is done. After this cycle closes out, someone here, and I feel like this is you, is manifesting balance. Not necessarily balance within this connection, more so balance within themselves. An equal balanced energy for yourself okay this person is definitely manifesting you back this person and i feel like this is you is just like okay this ended this is done this is over i just want to feel like my energies are balanced again i want to feel like i'm good within myself let's take a look at the ten of wands in your near future what is this ten of wands about 
Ten of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, which you had in your recent past. Okay, this is again tied up to a connection. This is a divine connection. This is someone from your past. This is not someone new, okay? Um, uh, whoever this person is, again, there is anxiety and fear tied up to this connection. This connection brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of happiness, a lot of emotional fulfillment, okay? But... There's also fear and anxiety tied up to this. And this is making it very difficult for you. This is showing up as a burden for you in your near future. And again, if you look back, the Nine of Swords in your recent past is tied up to this emotional pain. That's the Nine of Swords. The emotional pain and the heartbreak. So it may have been that in this connection, in the distant past, there was emotional pain and heartbreak here. And you may have not dealt with it. They may have not dealt with it. And in the near future, it's showing up again as like fear and anxiety. Like this person makes me happy, but I'm also really anxious about this because of what happened in the past, because of the pain that I experienced. Let's take a look at the Ten of Pentacles in your near future. Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Beautiful energy. Ten of Pentacles is literally everything that you want. Stability, long-term consistency. There's a commitment, a bond between you and another person showing up here. You feeling very, very good about this. Very successful, very victorious, and lots of love between you and this other person. It could be that in the near future, you are going to be overcoming all this pain and working through it and deciding to put in the work to process the pain and work through it and work through the anxiety, which is going to bring you to this beautiful energy of the Ten of Pentacles which is stability, long-term, consistent, stable energy, the, in a commitment, you feeling very good, and there's lots of love, lots of love between you and this other person, but definitely more so like you're feeling the love for sure. Let's take a look at this Two of Pentacles in your near future, closing off your reading. This Two of Pentacles is throwing me off. I'm like, oh, beautiful love, commitment, beautiful. I feel really good looking at these energies, but this Two of Cups, this Two of Pentacles is making me feel a little bit on edge for some reason <laughs> yeah the two of pentacles is clarified by the two of pentacles the seven of cups the knight of wands there's a little bit of indecision here in the near future i don't know if this is you or your person you would know but whoever this person is they're showing was very indecisive and kind of bouncing back and forth between the energy of like looking at all the choices that they have and taking action and you know kind of like I have so many options, so many choices, so many things that I can do. There's a little bit of confusion. It's a very confusing energy. You're showing up as the Knight of Wands to me. You're taking, you want to take action. You want to make something happen, but you're very confused. You're kind of like not really sure what to pick, what to do, where you should go, what you should focus on, right? It's it's a bit of confusing energy closing off your reading. Um, it's not negative energy. Like I don't feel like, you know, tensed up looking at it. But very confused, very scattered kind of energy. Um, let's take a look at what energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. From the universe, you get the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Fool. Yeah, there's a lot of love between you and another person here, okay? And I see you with the Knight of Swords taking action and making it happen and starting fresh. With all these energies in your past and possibly even in your current situation, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of emotional pain that needs to be processed. There's resistance that you're working on letting go. There's the emotional disconnection. You're manifesting this person coming back and balancing out the energies. They're manifesting you back. In the near future, I see that happening, but there's still some anxiety and fear showing up. From the universe, you're basically getting, yeah, you're starting fresh. The Fool is a very like clean slate, fresh start kind of energy. I see you making that happen here. And I see you having a lot of love for this person. You care about them a lot. They care about you too, but you definitely care a lot about them. I see you taking action to start, make this new beginning happen, bring this new beginning to life, which is very beautiful energy, especially because in the near future, you're closing off your reading with a bit of confusion. So Aries, that is the reading that I have for you. Thanks for tuning in. If this resonated, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to share how this resonates with you in the comment section, I would love to hear it. And of course, I'll see you here for your reading next week. Thank you again for tuning in. Bye, Aries.